Yo, yo, what's up everyone? John here with Web Dev For You, here to help you build awesome websites without code in Webflow. Today I'm introducing another free template. Uh, this one is called Christopher Nolan, and it is, it is a great uh, portfolio template to showcase your work. So I'll quickly showcase the, the template. Uh, there is documentation that comes with the template. Uh, you can clone this template for free directly into your Webflow dashboard. Uh, just click on the description area below or the link in the description area below to uh, clone the template. Uh, so basically for the template, we have a nice intro where it says, you know, it has that uh, animation from the left to the right. And then it has this image here. And then if we click, uh, well, we have this text here. If we click view my work, we have this nice transition and it takes to it takes the user to your work and we have some nice animation where you hover and you can view the project on dribble or you can link it out to basically anything you'd like so it has a really nice animation um, to really impress your users when they go to your website and they can click scroll to scroll down also when you hover it says open so we can click here or hover and then click on the link uh, we also have a contact page where the user can contact you and um, you know there's an email here where they can click and there's some social media links here at the top right and we can see we have this nice uh, styled scroll scroll wheel here and we can click here to go back to the home page and yeah so that's basically it um, just a really nice kind of simple template to impress your users uh, everything is customizable so we have the documentation that goes over the theme information, typography, color usage, uh, changing the project images, adding projects, and credits. Um, so, you know, this template consists of only one page with two different sections, hero and projects. Uh, the extra pages uh, are password and 404. They have been completely styled. So if we go into here, we can see the 404 page is styled and the password page is styled as well. Um, <clears throat> Let's see what else. Um, yeah, typography is all here. There's a style guide page that goes over all the typography used in the project and the colors. These colors are in the global swatches. Uh, so we have some global swatches here. So if you if you change the color of one global swatch, it will change the color uh, for any element on the page using the color. And here it says what elements are using what color. Um, so kind of like you know, like if you were building an IKEA. Uh, furniture this is all here like it's all uh, the guide is here <laughs> I don't know why I thought of Ikea uh, I think I just recently built something uh, in Ikea so uh, yeah but all the text you just double click and replace you know I can replace all the text and yeah and you can add CMS if you'd like excuse me uh, afterwards this image here this he uh, hero image can be easily replaced you just go in here choose image and I can choose any image here and the effect will be applied and that image will show there uh, so one more time just to showcase that um, i guess i have to select it again so we'll, we'll select hero image go into here choose image and then you know select the image that you'd like there uh, then if we go to the projects so there's a whole if we go to the works page this is where all the projects are and i have a complete guide here on how to change the project images and add projects. So with adding projects, um, we open the navigator panel and expand the work section. You'll see there, there are two divs named projects block. You'll also notice that the first project block div has a combo class of left. And the first or left project block contains odd number projects one through five. And the second project blocks contains even numbers two, four, and six. This means if you want to add a seventh project, you need to add it to the first or left projects block. If you want to add an eighth project, you need to add it to the second projects block. Let's see how. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So expand the first projects block, which has a left combo class here. So let's go into the work section, the project wrapper, the project block. So this one, uh, we can see these first have uh, first a combo class of first, third, and fifth. And the right has a combo class of second, fourth and sixth. So if we wanted to add a seventh project, we just uh, command C, command V to paste a seventh project. Then we'd remove this class and we'd say project eighth. 
and just like that we've added an eighth project and we can go into the project uh, content and let's see here to change the image I believe it's the project content wrap or let's see project content or let's just go to the instructions uh, yeah project image so we need to go to project image and that would be here let me expand that project number so project image oh it's right here okay project image so we click there and yeah project image and then in here we can go ahead and change the project image so if i were to do that we can see it has that image now okay let me go ahead and change that image to something different. There we go. So yeah, so if you want to add um, projects on the left or the right, uh, just go into the Navigator Work section, go to Projects Block. Um, this first one is on the left, and this Project Block is on the right. And then these are even numbers, and these are odd numbers. Um, and you don't have to work with the interaction that's already set. Um, if you did want to look at the interaction, you could just select it, go to interactions, and we can see the interactions uh, here. I'm not going to go too much into that in this video, but if you have any questions on the interactions, definitely let me know. Uh, so this template is fully responsive. So, you know, we can look at it on an iPad Pro 11. And let's look at uh, contact. You can see the animation is still on the iPad. Let's go to work. And we can see the work. The user can tap and then they can click on the project that they want. Let's check it on a iPhone 12 or iPhone 14. Looks good. The layout is vertical for, uh, for mobile. All right. And you can click to view on Dribble, and yeah, and we have the home page. All right, with the image here. Uh, so that's basically it uh, for this template. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Just feel free to shoot me uh, a message in the comment section below, and I'll be creating more templates uh, for you so you can you know clone them for free. Everything I'm giving away, I'm doing now is for free. I just want to provide as much Webflow content as I can. And if you have any website inquiries, if you need a website built, just leave me a comment or send me an email at john.webdevforyou at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.